morning guys and welcome to the channel yet again now it's been said to me privately that uh, it's okay for me to do all these shoots in the studio with all the equipment I have and uh, you know it's true I have a lot of equipment uh, but you must remember guys that I was a professional photographer for more than 25 years and you pick these things up over time but it's it's also been said that I should do more for for the man in the street for the people without all the equipment for the people that are just starting out maybe or people that uh, want to try something out and and don't want to spend the money so today we're going to do light painting now light painting it's a simple concept you do have to understand about light and you do have to know where light is coming from because with light painting you literally can't see until you look at the back of the camera but all you need to do it is a torch and any torch will do now i'll show you some images later on guys after we've had a look in the studio of light painting pictures that i did with a mobile phone a mobile phone light so you don't need lots of expensive equipment you can do it with anything so guys let's go over into the studio let's see how we get on and uh, we'll come back here afterwards and have a look at some images hi guys welcome uh, another coronavirus shoe although it seems that the world is beginning to relax conditions um, I have been out shopping but apart from that this is another studio shoot now it's come to my attention that a lot of people out there they don't have the sort of equipment that I have such as all the flashlights all of the studio modifiers um, I have battery powered studio modifiers I have um, speed lights the whole whole lot now you can say well you're lucky yes I am but it was my job it was my job for more than 20 years so it was important that I could apply myself to any conditions but looking at you guys and I'm thinking I should share something that that's easy for you to do guys that's a lot uh, simpler the technique is it takes practice but you don't need a lot of equipment so what are we going to do today we're going to talk about um, light painting now light painting is something of a, a mystery about it and really it's not it's like all techniques guys it's something you can learn so here we are in the studio what do i need i need a torch now this is uh this is a relatively expensive torch and it has a focusing mechanism so if I want a smaller spotlight I can use it if I want a broader light I can use it but any torch will do guys you know you have to uh, you have to use your ingenuity so if you don't have a focusing mechanism just put a piece of uh, a piece of tinfoil around the end and make it narrower and use it like that so you can do it guys but you need a torch now because I'm shooting and uh, I'm lazy I've got this remote control for the camera now this remote control it's a wireless one so it's supposed to be a hundred meters range or something like that round of corners I've not fully tested it yet it came with the um, battery pack on the back of the on the bottom of the camera here but what we're going to do we're going to have a look now today we're shooting my 14 to 24 lens why because it's black and because we can practice with it i've got a couple of other light painted subjects um, which i'll put in in the video in the after aftermath and you can see the sort of results you can get so let's jump in and let's get on with what we're doing so we have the remote we have the torch now I'm going to show you guys um, the back of the camera again a 
as you see guys we have the grid lines on everything that we do in a studio shoot is the same as normal but this is a, a little bit different in that instead of bang firing the flashes off we're going to use a torch to paint so let's have a go at it I'm going to for this demonstration I'm going to leave the lights on so that you can see what I'm doing all right so it'll be black and you just see a light flashing around so okay here we go um, we get our torch it has three settings so we have our torch now the first shot um, is just basically a a dark shot a, a packing shot now I'm a bit lazy so what I want to do is I want a, a little arch in the background of light um, but the lens itself will be quite dark and you won't see much detail now I'll explain this later but at the moment what we do is we fire the camera and then we paint now you see I'm holding the torch above the lens I'm trying not to get any light on the lens so bang bang and once we've done that the camera is finished we check it on the back we have this facility now with digital we can check things so we check it on the back now what we want to do is we want to put a, a bit of a light down the side of the torch so again this time what we do is we make it a little bit broader so the beam is a little bit broader we fire the camera and we light from the side so here guys you can see we are lighting trying not to light too much of the front don't worry about spill at the back we can focus the torch a bit more such as that but bearing in mind that you have to you have to pay attention to the intensity of the torch so again down the other side bang now because I want to be sure and I might want to lift the shadows on the lens I take one final shot and I just paint carefully on the torch and that's it guys that's the painting you have to practice and you check on the back of your your camera make sure you've got all that you need but it's as simple as that now I'll show you the image here we'll go back to the computer and I'll show you a couple of other light painted images I've done in the studio you can use this for any subject the only thing I would say doesn't really work with is moving subjects and, and portraits um, because portraits people move and to do a 10 or 15 second exposure it's it's too long to expect people to stand still now the camera settings I have it on manual I focused it on the on the lens I've turned the autofocus off I don't want anything to move and I have it at 30 seconds at f16 why why such a, a long exposure well I want to give myself plenty of time to do the light painting so that's it guys let's go back to the computer and have a look what we've got here guys welcome back to the computer now with light painting you've seen what we've done in the studio and my suggestion to you is that you actually start off with something simple try not to make it too complicated and try not to achieve too much don't run before you can walk guys so take a simple shot and do some simple light painting then as your confidence and your experience grows and your skill grows then you can do more and more complicated shots now you've seen that it was a simple shot of a lens and for the purpose of this demonstration I've kept it to three images so the first image was a base image now I always take a base image and sometimes even if I'm doing landscapes and I'm going to blend certain aspects of the landscaping I do the same but I just don't want a dark image I'm a little bit lazy so instead of having four images I start off with one and as you see I had the torch and I just flipped it around the background to give that 
arc of light. So let's have a look at Photoshop and let's look at the three images that we've got. Now, this is by no means a Photoshop lesson, guys. I can do those, but uh, they take a bit more time. And if you want to see them, you're going to have to ask for them, guys. What I'm trying to do with this is give you enthusiasm and ideas for, for shooting, to get you out um, or even inside and to shoot images. So let's have a look at Photoshop and uh, let, let's see what we're doing. Now, as you can see here, guys, um, you can see that this is the first image and the background is quite bright and what we've done here is we've we've got this light painting that we've done in the background the front of the image the the lens and the table are basically quite dark now when you're light painting you want to paint the highlights i've spoken in my rooftop ramblings about shadows shadows being the queen of uh of an image whereas light is the king so shadows are the queen but you need a base image you need that dark image if you start blasting light around for everything you're going to get confused so start off with your dark image and this is image number one and you can see now where we painted around it now image number two we shot in one go now you can shoot these in two goes three goes four goes but basically what we've done here guys is we've put the the lighting down the side so we've lit it from the side and we've shone the torch from the side so what we're doing is giving that edge to to the image and then we go to image number three where we've um where we've lit the front of the the lens now it's overdone you know it's too bright so we will address that being totally accurate with the brightness of of your light painting isn't critical and the reason i say that guys is because in photoshop you can blend the images so let's let's just have a look a minute guys and what we'll do is is give you some ideas of how we're going along now i've got to put my glasses on because i have to see what i'm doing so i hope you'll excuse me whoa guys so many of you watching hey <laughs> it's great seeing you hi guys so over here in photoshop we take the first image now this is as i say this is our background image and we need the we need the darkness of the lens now we take the second image and we take our uh, our tools and we drag this image onto the, onto the first image we can't do it like that all right cancel um what we do is we'll do it this way we'll do select or edit copy and then we'll go back to the first one and we'll go edit paste and you see we've got the image um the image is now on top and of course you can't see the one below you can put a mask on and then you can paint but i'm going to teach you a little trick and <laughs> people people teach you all sorts of different ways of doing things this is the way i do it because i'm quite lazy guys i want maximum efficiency for what i do so what we do is we have the image on top we go down here to the mode where it says normal um, if you can read that there and we change it to lighten now basically this blend mode what it does is it shows the lighter part of the image now <laughs> you can see here guys if we turn it off that actually we've done the wrong layer ha! big deal okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the correct layer 
and we take this layer and we'll do the same thing edit uh, select all edit copy we'll go back to this one and we'll go edit paste and again we'll change it to lighten so we go here to the mode and we'll go normal and we'll go to lighten now again you can see the whole thing now what i want to do guys i want to uh i want to change the image no the image order is okay uh, yeah the image order is okay let's turn off the last layer so now we've got lighten if you look you can see how we've got this light down the side of the of the lens and you know it's it's pretty good guys it's not bad but I wanted a little bit more detail here through the middle so if we take the third picture which is the middle of the lens you can see that for me it's too bright so what we do is we'll reduce the opacity a little bit and um, you can see it's it's just burning it down so what we do is we just reduce the opacity a little bit and we just tone it down slightly now that in itself is quite pleasing but we've got this um we've got this highlights that we want around here which uh which we see here and you know to be honest that that is pretty good so what we do from here if we turn this layer off you can see that we've got highlights around here um, around the bottom so what I suggest you do is you put a clear mask on now I'm going to show you a little trick guys you take a brush um, take your brush tool guys normally I have two screens working so shooting I am um, doing this on one screen is a bit tedious for me you have your brush you have your um, flow set to 100% or you can have it less now where you want the highlights to show and bear with me guys you actually paint them out so as you can see that is where I want the highlights now if we turn if we turn this mode off you can see I've painted on all that beautiful highlight and we can't see that so now what we do is we select the mask make sure the mask is selected and we go have I got to tell you on a Mac command but on a PC which I use I go control I now what that will do is invert the mask whoa now we have our beautiful highlights back the way i do it the reason i do it this way is i'm not working blind i can see what i'm painting out if you put a black mask on to start with and you start painting in highlights you you're working blind you know you're you're searching around for the highlights so put a white mask paint it out then invert the mask so that's basically what i'm doing then we go to this layer here now you can see that there's a lot of uh, a lot of light on the bottom here and I still think this is a bit too much so what we're going to do is we've got whoops wrong way uh, we highlight the layer we're on and we put a we put a a mask on but a mask you can see through now we have our brush which is uh, black and we're going to just reduce the flow why do we use flow and not opacity guys because if you paint with opacity this is five percent if you paint with opacity uh, you get your five percent that's it and you can paint over it for an hour and it won't make it any more than five percent uh, you have to let go and then you have to click and and do it again so you know that's that's how that works so that's why we do flow and you can see that what I'm doing now you can see it's quite subtle I'm just darking that down 
This bit in the middle I'm not so keen on, so I'm just going to paint this down a little bit. And again, here I'm going to paint down. And we're going to paint around here. And then we're going to our mask and we're going to go control i and now you can see that i've actually brought it down now if i want i can go on to the mask here um, so we can take a, we can take a black brush and we can gradually paint out the bits that we don't we don't want in and around here if we do want it we change it to white and we can just paint in so the image doesn't look bad so now what I what I normally do guys is I flatten the image and then I do my sharpening and and my bits and pieces my vignettes and my uh, my texturizer and, and all those sort of things but this is your base image so what we do after I finished it guys is excuse me it looks like this all right it's a strong vignette you may say I don't like that simple guys don't do it you don't have to do it this is giving you ideas and trying to make it easy so the first thing I will say to you is when you bring your other layers in put a white mask on and paint out the bit you want to keep sounds crazy you want to keep it you're going to paint it in black so you can't see it but you can see where you're painting and you paint it out and then you invert the mask everything else is gone and uh, you, you have the bit that you want to keep so this is the image guys and you know anybody can do this but the one thing I'm going to say to you guys is start slow you know I've got this torch and it has a, a little focus in it comes forward and back it's quite powerful it has three level, set, level settings you don't need all of this just an ordinary torch and you may say oh, you're saying that but you have this expensive torch and it was for me it was expensive I mean it was about <laughs> 45 pound with postage which um, you know I'm used to going to the pound shop buying a torch uh, keeping it for 12 months and throwing it away so <laughs> it's a lot of money but what you all have um, guys you all have one of these now on the back of these there's a little flashlight a torch I'm going to show you a couple of images that I took guys and um, these were both lit with this mobile phone with this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus mobile phone um, any mobile phone so any torch any mobile phone so here we go guys mobile phones now you can see the images guys you can see the effects you can get yeah it's a slightly more complicated way of uh, way of lighting and way of painting and uh, it takes a bit more technique but guys you can do it it's just practice so what I want you guys to do is I want you to go out and I want you to uh, I want you to practice doing your light painting set it up in a studio you know don't worry about where the shadows are going just keep moving the torch because what you're going to do is you're only going to paint in the highlights this is the beauty of using a dark image so what you do is you take your first image which is quite dark and then you paint in highlights and if you want it a little bit uh, a little bit brighter then you can lift it up in levels so guys listen I hope this helped I hope you'll uh, like and subscribe I'm going to leave you with the images and uh, 
thanks for watching guys this is uh this is our sharing channel and anything you want anything you think you'd like to know give me a shout in the comments below uh it really is a simple technique guys and uh try it you know and you don't have to spend anything you've got a mobile phone as i say both of the images in front of you except for the the rock lamp um in the image to the right were both lit exclusively with a mobile phone it was dark in the room you know um pay attention to backgrounds pay attention to the effect and feel you want but start slowly start like the lens you know just put a, a highlight down each side bump how clever you know and uh, take it from there guys so i'll see you in the next video and thanks once again for watching please please share like subscribe spread the word let's make this channel one of the few which really do share and really do tell you the truth and that's it if you want to learn some photoshop techniques go to piximperfect um own mesh is a great guy and he does an amazing job if you want me to do some photoshop techniques because i don't always follow how they say because i'm a photographer and i'm a lazy one so if you want me to do a few uh, photoshop techniques give us a shout in the comments below guys you know i can do it for you take care till next time stay safe and take some awesome pictures guys